Well, hey there team, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more space crew. Oh geez, everyone's moving through here. All right, let's, oh look, there's a blue boy over there. Okay, nice. All right, continuing on. Let's see, let's make an, let's assess what's happening. Some interesting suggestions. Someone pointed out that we could, uh, you could depower the gravity and give them gravity boots. That's probably a good idea, I suppose. We can think about doing that. Um, now what's going on with crew gear? All right, custom. What what new gear do I have? I'm confused. Didn't it? Wasn't I? Wasn't there new gear on the? Oh, maybe maybe not. Okay. Hmm. Oh, you know what? It might have been these, the uh, the new helmets, the environment mask. Yeah, I was really hanging out that they were going to give me more presets. You know what I mean? That I could do. But uh, I don't know. Maybe let's have a quick look. All right, what's this? Full face face environment mask, which protects wearer. Okay. What's this do? Oxygen mask. It's slower movement and higher armor. Um, that probably makes sense on the captain, to be honest, because she doesn't really go anywhere. Now, are these all like just cosmetic? Pretty much, they are. Radiation suit. Hang on, what's this? Light armored suit. Mark two and Mark one. Oh wow, the Mark two is like better. Cycle color? What is this? Cycle color? Oh, nice. Well, she's she's the captain, so she gets red. That makes sense to me. But oh, if only we could give her the captain suit, you know? I don't know. It's just the game's too dangerous. I can't I can't piss fire in. Oh, we'll give her a gun. That sounds good. Wait, can we cycle the color on the helmet? No. Gloves. All right, so. Light gloves give her a little bit of armor. That gives her armor and slows her down. And that gives radiation protection. She doesn't need radiation protection, so she can have these heavy glove. There we go. This makes sense. Protect the captain, probably, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what's going on here? Powered boots make her faster. Gravity boots makes her really slow, but the gravity won't affect her. Okay, that's fine. Um, no, no, I think we'll go with the armored boots. Okay, cool. Captain's done. You know what? Because I don't want to drag on too long, and this series isn't stopping anytime soon. We'll just do the- we'll trick out the captain. I'll try and remember to trick out each of them in turn at the beginning of each sort of episode. But for the moment, just the captain. Just the captain's get up. Because we want to- we don't want to spend too much time in here, because the missions are starting to get longer and longer as well. Um, okay. We've also got some systems to look at here. Two and a half thousand dollars. And now we've got different shields as well. So hang on, hang on. Standard shields, Mark 1 and 2. This one, high capacity shields. It creates very strong shields, but it has a slower recharge rate. Oh wow, okay. That is significant. And what about this? Faster shield recharger. Shield strength is fairly low, but it is quick to regenerate. 135. Oh, that is interesting. And and they're going for the same price. You know how I like to sort of try and leverage that? Uh, I don't know what I would like more. It's tough because we've got things that regenerate... Sh uh, hmm, I don't know. I guess I'll have to think about it. Have to think about it. There's plenty of other things to buy as well. I really want that super reactor. Not necessarily the armored reactor. I don't care for that, to be honest. What What's that give us? 400 HP instead of... Well, our reactor's usually pretty good. I want that 3250. I'm starting to feel like the only way we're ever going to get it is if I actually bite the bullet and save the money. Uh, but the medical bay as well. That's really good. That'd be really good because we managed, we've managed to run out with our medical bay. Now, here's the thing. Plasma plus auto cannon mark two. All right, auto cannon 
costs 600 and that costs 1050 and that costs 1450 Wait, so it does both? You know what I think it actually does? I think it creates a gun that can be toggled between the two modes, potentially. I'm not 100% sure. Um, now now we're, getting, we're getting so many upgrades and I can't really afford any of them. Agile. We've been running the Agile one recently, haven't we? Equipment, oh my God. You know what? I, I want to know. I want to put this to bed. Uh, we won't do the front one. We'll do the right one because that's one of the main sort of guns that's always manned. Um, I'm going to put this... I'm going to buy the hybrid. It's going to be very expensive, but I want to know. I want to know what that's about. And we've got 1600 bucks left. Can I get any of these things? 1200 No. All right, we'll just hold off. We'll hold off. That's our experiment for this episode. We're going to figure out what the go is with the hybrid gun. I get the feeling that it actually is literally both guns that you can switch. Something, something in the back of my mind makes me think that. Okay. We're still not ready for high risk, but we're doing the medium risks, right? Investigate phasmid activity. Let's do that. 2000 bucks and barely any research. That's perfect. That's exactly what we need now. We just need more money. How much are these, the high risk ones? Oh, wow. That doesn't give you anything. Oh, oh we've got to go in for another medium risk. This game is so rough. Eventually, we're gonna get killed, and uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be a sad day. All right, hang on, hang on. Escobar. Aim accuracy. Switch weapon. Hmm. So does that mean? This is interesting. I think this is how we beat what's his name, the the named dude. So now I need to pay attention to where they're at, and I think the plasma guns do more. Yeah, the- oh, okay, the thing's switching. Okay, cool. I think the plasma guns do more damage to, like, shields or something like that. That makes the most sense, doesn't it? Oh, man. This game! This game! Big value! Sort of stands testament to, um, if you actually know your game's good. I wonder how many developers release shit games, but they they know, they don't know it's shit or they know it's shit. That's interesting. But they've, they've let me cover this for quite a while ahead of launch. And I think this has only done them value. You know what I mean? There's something to be said about... Well, it's like embargoes and that. Uh, like review embargoes. You know when a game ha reviews come out the second that it launches, right? That's usually an indication that it's a bad game. But then if you have reviewers putting their review up like a week or two ahead of release, it's usually because they think that they've got a good game, you know, and you can get the hype cycle going. Anyway, this is a great game. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to get at. All right. Now, someone was saying, suggesting maybe if we slow down real quick, because we haven't gotten to the bottom of how the guns and all that really work. Aim accuracy, 62%. Weapon effectiveness, 100. If we were to change that to attack mode, it doesn't seem to affect it overtly. See, I couldn't tell you which... Which gun's better there? I can't actually tell the difference between the auto gun and the plasma gun. Hmm. Let's put him on plasma gun. Lots of plasma guns. We'll try and pay attention to who he's shooting. Oh, we're doing alright. We're doing alright.
All right, shields are down. Let's uh, get. Oh, Cavallo's still in. Not. Wow, he's getting pumped. Hang on. Uh oh. Yeah, so this guy's hanging around like a pest because we're not shooting him at all. Is that what's going on there? Now his shields are down. Wow, Rodenko's getting shot up bad. What sort of damage are these guys doing? Paz, you need to repair. I guess it is medium risk, right? Rodenko, jump in the med bay real quick, mate. God damn, they're giving me a hard time. Stuff it. Everyone use your focus fire, because I know the focus fire has a quick cooldown. Look at that. That really minced them up at the end. Alright, very good. Alright. This game actually stresses me out. <laughs> it's the cutest, hardest game. I play so many games on the channel like that. My bloody station is. It's very cute, but very hardcore. Alright, uh, enemies incoming. You know what? Let's jump jump to it. Fighter support. Oh, I can press number keys to change, uh, dude. That's actually very handy. Stop boarding me, stop that. Oh, you know what? No, Escobar, get the gun. Plenty of shields. Rudenko's been getting pumped. We get Paz in the mid bay. Oh shit.
Oh my god, we're getting boarded again. Oh, don't you shoot Paz out of his seat. Of course I've shot the captain. Escobar, back to it. Actually, Escobar, you do repairs, mate. Oh my goodness. Escobar, back to attacking enemies, mate. Oh my god, this boarding's getting out of control. Escobar, back to your station. Paz repairing. It's a fire, is there? Bugger. Oh my goodness. All right, hang on. We need to get moving. We, we're kind of getting pumped here. Oh, he's smart enough for repair on his own? Good. Oh man, look at this, we're chewing through the med bay. Enemies incoming, oh shit. Be quick. Get out of here, you scrubs. I was preparing to maybe just stand and fight them, but nah. Alright, so now we need to clear the enemies from this area, right? Okay. Defensive attacking. Probably for the moment. Boost weapons. Boost shields. Boost weapons.
No, 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 no. Sorry, I got confused, Escobar. Stop. Evasive. We need our shields back. Replenish. Are we clear? Clear enemies. Return to base. Oh my god, hang on. Well that was a that was less painful than I th than it you know, we, we assumed it was gonna hit us even harder. Uh -huh. I'll take a pleasant surprise for a change. Don't give me that music. Oh, scannables. Phasmid technology debris new. <sighs> It'd be rude not to, eh? Alright, oh, here they come. If it took me out of fast mode. Alright, we might see about putting Paz on the uh, engine boost. run away for a moment. With plenty of shields. Wow, look how much they pump you if you just go on a straight line. Like... The moving around and sort of orbiting and avoiding things is legit. Scan. We're finally getting a bit of a... You know, like the random dice rolls of generating dudes is... Treating us favorably at the moment. I, don't, I mean, I don't want to speak too soon. Was there not another one as well? Or was it just the one? Come on, charge it quick, quick before they turn up. Oh no, they're here. Fast jump, fast jump. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Earth Athena Station, we're not quite there. I've made a bit of a boo boo here. Paz. Better do some repairs, mate.
They're coming out of the sun. You know what? We'll call in all the support and that. Dude, they're pumping my shields. What the hell? Stop this, we're gonna do overdrive. Oh, I didn't have them scanned? Hang on, I must have missed a wave. Oh, they're the boys, it's the cavalry. Alright, overdrive's finished. Oh, look at the cavalry go. Boys. Proud, to, proud. Proud to serve with you. Your planet salutes you, I suppose. Oh, nice. Goodness me. That mission had its ups and downs. I think at least two separate occasions I thought we were, like, free and clear. But no! Then they started to bloody throw everything at us to teach me my lesson. Then they'd send one little tiny wave just for giggles. Just to upset me. Just to put me on me toes. Nice. Phas yeah, fantastic. We've got our Phasma technology. Stealth mode. Oh, they're both security chief backups. I see. Yeah, of course, because they fight better or something. Oh, yeah. It's not really something we've been uh, doing. Oh, oxygen generator 2, gravity generator 2, and standard engine 2. Nice. Oh man, look at that, 3165, we might actually be able to afford the, uh, the core. Good god, that'd be crazy if that's the case. Alright team, thanks again for joining me for another episode, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.